Hello friends, this video on biological classification part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the different categories into which the fungi kingdom is grouped. So based on their reproductive structures and mode of spore formation. So by now you know what is the role of the uh, spores in the life cycle of a fungi. So these fungi are divided into four groups and they are phycomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes. So this mycetes term has come from mycelium. So if you want to remember this in a simpler way, you can remember it like this. First, ask for basic duty. So if you remember this, it becomes very easy to remember. First, for that is phycomycetes. Ask that is ascomycetes. Basic that is basidiomycetes. Duty that is deuteromycetes. So they are very similar to the names of the fungi, right? So if you remember this first ask for basic duty, you can remember phycomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes. Because in bio, remembering the terms is a difficult job. Okay, now as I said before also that most of the fungi prefer moist habitats. So do all of them. So I will talk about each of them in detail one by one. We will talk about their structure and their reproduction part. So let us start the discussion with phycomycetes. So how is their structure? They have a mycelium which is aseptate. What is aseptate? I spoke about septum some time back, right? What was septum? It was the cross wall present inside the hyphae. Aseptate means no septum. So let us quickly see what do we mean by a septate mycelium and aseptate mycelium. Septate means mycelium is divided into smaller uninucleate or multinucleate cells by cross walls. So whenever you have the cross walls present to divide the uh, entire mycelium into smaller divisions. So each of those divisions will have one or more nuclei. So that is known as septate. Aseptate means there is no cross wall present. So inside the mycelium, it is like the entire cytoplasm with all the cell organelles are all mixed up and flowing together. So there is no separation. That is aseptate. So this is how it looks like. So if you look at the picture, this is your septum, this brown colored structure. So if this structure is not present, then this is known as aseptate. The mycelium is xenocytic. What is the meaning of xenocytic? The word xeno means common. And the word cytic means a box. So a common box, when there are no walls, when, the, when inside the mycelium there are no walls, no separation, no compartments, that means all the contents of the cell are present in one common box. So this type of mycelium is known as xenocytic. That means many nuclei are present inside the common cytoplasm. So whenever the mycelium is aseptic, it has to be xenocytic. So they are related to each other. If the mycelium is septic, it will not be xenocytic because in that case, it will not be sharing the common cytoplasm. So in phycomycetes, the mycelium is aseptic and xenocytic. Let us now look at the reproduction mode. In asexual reproduction, what kind of spores are produced here? They produce either motile zoospores or non-motile aplanospores. That is, sometimes, sometimes the spores which can move, that is zoospores, sometimes non-motile spores like aplanospores are also produced. These are produced endogenously in sporangium. Wherever we have the word endogenously, that means it is produced ex interiorly endo means interior wherever you have exogenously that means it is pro produced externally so that is how asexual reproduction happens here talking about sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction fusion of similar gametes can also happen which is known as isogamous fusion of dissimilar gametes can also happen which is known as an isogamous 
This fusion results in the formation of zygospores. So what kind of spores are produced here? They are zygospores. So here in this picture, you can see the example of rhizopus. Rhizopus is a phycomycetes. And here you can see the sporangia, which actually give this blob-like structure is the sporangium, which can give rise to the spores. Let us look at some examples of phycomycetes. Rhizopus, that is the bread mold, which is generally seen on bread. Albugo, that is the mustard fungi. Here you can see on the mustard plants, you see some white colored structures. So they are the phycomycetes called albugo. Mucor. So here again, you see the thread like structures with the blobs are over or their terminals. So these are some of the examples of phycomycetes. So let us look at the second category of fungi. This is ascomycetes. So what it is? It is commonly known as sac fungi. What do you mean by sac? You would have often seen some shell-like structure. We often say sac-like structures. So due to the presence of such sac-like structures, these kind of fungi are known as ascomycetes or sac fungi. Okay, so let us talk about their structure. So here the mycelium is septate and branched. So as I said, it is septate. That means the cross walls are present inside the mycelium. So inside uh, it is divided into uh, uninucleate or multinucleate cells due to the presence of the cross walls that is septum. So septum is present. That is why it is septate and mycelium is branched. That means it is like a filamentous structure. Talking about reproduction, it for a sexual mode, it gives out asexual spores called conidia. So as I said, in all these different categories of fungi or different types of fungi, you will see that the type of asexual spores which are produced are different in each case. So as you saw in case of phycomycetes, the asexual spores which were produced were the zoospores and aplanospores. Right? So here it is conidia. Conidia are produced exogenously by conidiophores. Exogenously. The word exo means exteriorly. So this is how it looks like. So here you can see these are conidiophores and these are the conidia which are being produced from these conidiophores. So this is a magnified image of this part. This part is being magnified as this. So this is how the conidiophores and conidia look like. Talking about the sexual mode, sexual spores are ascospores. It is related to the name ascomycetes. So sexual spores, as I said, asexual spores and sexual spores, they are different, right? Okay, so the, asex, the, the sexual spores, that is ascospores, are produced endogenously in asci, which are present in the fruiting bodies called ascocarp. So let us try to see its structure. So this is how the structure looks like. So ascocarp, this is the fruiting body or the reproductive structure, basically. Okay, now in this asco, inside the ascocarp, there are many asci, which are nothing but sac-like structures. They undergo meiosis to generate haploid spores, which are called ascospores. So now you just remember the sexual cycle, the general sexual cycle of any fungi. We, we learned that it is a three-step process. The first step is plasmogamy. The second step is karyogamy. And the third step is meiosis, right? So what happens in plasmogamy? Fusion of two mating types, cytoplasm, right? What happens in karyogamy? The nuclei fuse together. What happens in meiosis? That di diploid uh, zygote will undergo repeated cell division to give out spores, to give out the sexual spores. So what are those spores here? Those spores here are ascospores. These ascospores will then germinate to form new mycelium. Right? Because these ascospores are released to the environment and then they germinate forming new mycelium.
So here in this picture, you can see the ascii. These are the ascii. You see some sac-like structures here. So these are mature ascii. So see, in the mature ascii, you have, you can see the formation of the ascospores. Here, this is a sterile hyphae. Here you do, do not see any formation of ascospores. So that means it, it will not reproduce from here. Again, here you see developing meiotic ascii. So here you can see small number of uh, ascospores are there, right? And this is a mature one where you see more number of spores. So these are, each of these sac-like structure is an ascii. These pores which are produced by the ascii are ascospores. And this entire structure is the ascocarp, that is the fruiting body of ascomycetes. Right, so here you got to know that the process of sexual reproduction remains the same in all types of fungi. It is just that each of them have different structures to produce the sexual spores. Here talking about uh, the asexual spores that is conidia. Conidia are non-motile and they are a result of mitosis. So that is also one difference. These are produced as a result of mitosis and the sexual spores are produced as a result of meiosis. Now what is mitosis and meiosis? They are the two types of cell division. Well, I will not talk about those types of cell division right now, but as you go ahead with the with further lessons, you we will talk about meiosis and mitosis. Okay, so let us look at some of the examples of ascomycetes. Yeast is a popular example of uh, ascomycetes, aspergillus, penicillin. So. Penicillin is uh, often known to uh, produce the antibiotic penicillin. Neurospora, which is often called as the red bread mold, is also commonly known as red bread mold. So here if you look at the structure of each of them, you might feel that is this how a penicillin uh, or look like fungi? So this is how it looks like under the microscope. So it is its detailed structure basically. So here you can also see the structures like the spores, how they are formed and all. Here if you look at this neurospora, you can actually see the structure of its mycelium. It has got walls which divides it into sections. So these are some popular examples of ascomycetes. So thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.